Tongue-tied, acute and chronic dysarthria. A 72-year-old man with a history of hypertension and hyperlipidemia was chatting at the dinner table with his family when he suddenly missed his mouth with his fork and began slurring his words and speaking slowly. He is brought to an emergency department where pertinent neurological exam findings include ataxia of his right arm and intention tremor. His speech is slurred and slow with pauses after each syllable. The neurology team is consulted to evaluate his dysarthria. Dysarthria is a motor speech disorder resulting from weakness, paralysis, or damage to the muscles that produce speech. It can be seen in numerous conditions, including neurological disorders. Causes of dysarthria include anatomic changes of the mouth and pharynx to central and peripheral nervous system pathology. Dysarthria can be characterized as acute or chronic and further classified into specific types. Correctly identifying the type of dysarthria can help determine the underlying etiology. The approach to identifying the type of dysarthria involves collecting a detailed history highlighting the onset and progression of dysarthria and associated neurological symptoms. The neurological exam can be used to help localize the source of the dysarthria and a complete evaluation includes assessment of phonation, articulation, prosody, speech intelligibility, language, cognitive communication, swallowing, and fluency. The characterization of dysarthria describes the patient's speech in terms of breathing, phonation, or articulation. The ability to comprehend, name objects, read, write, and follow commands are not affected as they might be in someone with aphasia. Further evaluation of dysarthria can include imaging, neurophysiological studies, or labs. Based on the clinical findings of frequent irregular breakdowns in articulation, slurring and pauses after each syllable, our patient's speech can be classified as ataxic dysarthria, which is often seen with cerebellar lesions like stroke or tumor. Other forms of dysarthria include flaccid, spastic, hypokinetic, and hyperkinetic dysarthria. Flaccid dysarthria is caused by lower motor neuron disorders neuromuscular junction disorders, and lesions to the cranial nerves. It presents with hypernasality, audible inspiration on stridor, speaking on inhalation, rapid reduction of speech quality that improves at rest, and hypoactive gag reflex. Spastic dysarthria is common in disorders involving bilateral lesions of the cortical spinal tract, such as ischemic strokes and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. It presents with a slow rate of speech, harsh voice quality, pathological oral reflexes, labile affect, hypertonia, and hyperactive gag reflex. Hypokinetic dysarthria is commonly seen in Parkinson's disease and other forms of Parkinsonism. It presents with monopitch, monoloudness, inappropriate silences, pallidalia, mask facial expression, tremulous jaw, lips, or tongue. Hyperkinetic dysarthria is commonly seen in patients with Huntington disease and other forms of chorea. Patients present with transient breathiness, vocal strain, voice stoppages or arrest, voice tremor, myoclonic vowel prolongation, and facial grimacing during speech. Treatment of dysarthria involves working with speech and language pathologists on restorative and compensatory interventions that help preserve or maintain function of speech. Our patient showed evidence of a minor stroke in the territory of the right superior cerebellar artery. He received dual antiplatelet treatment and was started on a speech rehabilitation program with a speech and language pathologist. The prognosis of dysarthria often depends on its cause and correct classification helps clinicians develop a more specific differential diagnosis. Further, proper assessment assists the development of an individualized treatment plan for the patient. For more information on this and other neurological conditions, please visit aan.com neurobytes.